Well, hello, and welcome back to the backlog, and welcome to Quilts and Cats of Calico. I'm really excited about this one. This one is a board game, and it has made its way into a video game so that you can play it on the go. It's it's small and short enough that you can play a full game in your lunch break, and uh, yet it's got enough crunchy strategy to it to keep you coming back. You can even play online against other people, or you can play together um, just with your friends in a uh, you know, hot swappable thing. So let's just, um, it's even got challenges. It, it's great. So let's do a new game and dive right in to Quilts and Cats of Calico. So here we are. This is our quilt, and you can see it starts out with some patches around the outside. This is not how you want a quilt, but, um, you know, that's how it goes. These are our three cats that we're going to be trying to... Yes, come here. Come here. Yes, okay. You can pet the cats. Yes, you can pet the cats. Okay. Now get off my quilt, please. Thank you. Go, go that way. Anyway. Anyway, now we've got these three here, and we've got to put them on these three spaces. So we get to choose, and so let me see here. This one requires us that we get a pair of two matching, two matching, two matching. This one is two matching, two matching, and then two singles. This one is three matching, two matching, and one single. Um, I'm thinking this one for the middle. That'll be nice and easy. This one for the side over here, and then this one. Yeah, go on, go on, shoo, shoo. There you go. Um, and so if we match them up and we get the two match, two match, single, single, we'll get five points. But if we get them so the pattern and the color do that all the way around it, we'll get seven whole points. And the same thing over here with seven and 11 and seven and 11. So no, go on, go on. All right, that's what I want. That's what I want. Let's go. All right, and now we've got two patches we can choose from to place wherever we want on the board. Also, over here, over here, we've got three cats that want these particular patterns to be matched up. Callie here wants these two patterns, neither of which I have, so we don't worry, need to worry about that. But she just wants three of them all matched up together nicely, and you can use the uh, you can use the outside border to fit that. Almond here wants five of them, all in a. a Clump, but we'll give nine points if we can do that. And we do have one of those, actually. So, is there a place? Scoot. Scoot. Go ahead. No, not going anywhere. All right. <laughs> do we have this? Yes, we do. Right down here, we've got one of them matched up. Up here, we've got another one. And up here, we've got another one of this pattern. Okay, so we could start with that so we'll just uh, we'll just plop that down right there and we'll start this little this little contingent also uh guinevere here wants wait does it have to be in that exact form it might it might need to be in that exact form maybe we don't want to do that because guinevere here wants just seven all in a clump yeah so it, it may be that we have to actually get it in that form which is really tricky we can only really do it here or here Oh, nasty. Uh, but this one we can probably do just seven of. Yeah, okay, we'll start in. We got two of these lined ones for Guinevere. We're going to go for Guinevere and try to attract her to here. And um, and then also work on this. So we've got a stripe here, and now we get to choose which one do we want. In response, let's get this one, actually. So we've got a matching set here. So we use one. And then we, uh, then we gain one. And then the AI takes their turn, and now it's back to us. Now, we want more stripes, and we want more green around here, because we want two sets of match. But if we can't find matches, that's okay. We can do it other ways. Um, and I think... Actually, we're going to put this one down here. And we're going to make a little clump right here, because not only can you attract cats and get these bonus points for that, if you get a clump of three of the same pattern, you can put a button on it. And if you get all of the buttons, if you get all of the buttons, you'll actually get a, uh, a bonus three points, and then this extra button will come down and flop down on there, and it'll be grand, and it'll be amazing. Um, so I'm going to take this one. Oh, a lot of blue going on. Okay, 
So now we actually have two here that are the same. So that's the A done. Um, now we just need to work on the B, which is great. Now let's grab... Oh, which one to grab? Which one to grab? You know, I don't really want I, any of these, so I guess I'll take... Oh my. I guess I'll take this one. That'll be good. Take the blue ones. No, take the blue ones for crying out loud. I want you to take the blue ones. Okay. All right. That's kind of worthless for me. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to slap this down right here. And this one will be the D or the C for both of these. It'll just be the rando that just gets out of the way. Yes. Yes. I like it. And we'll take this one. And they're going to take the yellow one, and they're going to take the pink one. Yeah, they keep taking the new one. But that's okay, actually, because I want this. We're going to put that down here, and we're going to fill that in nicely. Oh, we could. We've got blue. We could put this blue here, and it would be the B color for this and this. Let's do that. Yeah, a little change of pace, a little change of pattern. Let's go. They're just going to keep taking the same thing over and over again. Ooh, actually, there's a moon now. I want that one. All right, so now we put this here. And because it's got all of the same symbol, poof, we get a button. Bonus three points. Let's go. Give me that. <laughs> what are you taking? They're just, they like this fresh one. All right, now I think if I put this here, we get a button? No, we don't get a button. Oh, that's that's what it is. Uh, we're working on this Guinevere one. Yeah, so we want the seven bonus points. We've got one, two, three, four. We've got four of that. We need extra. We need lots and plenty. And now, so we've got the B color. We've got the B shape. We need... Another of this pattern and another matching color, which we don't have. Or so so let's see here. We got one color, that's the A color. And then we got the C and the D. We just need a matching color here to get all the colors. And then we've got one matching shape, that's the A, and then the C and the D. Here, we just need matching color. So we either need to match one of these, which we can do here. So if we plop this down here and then put a completely different shape here, but a shape that matches, so yeah, we'll grab this one. Wait, maybe, maybe, maybe we don't grab that. Maybe we grab this one. Yeah, let's grab that one. Mm, maybe we don't grab that one. Yeah, yeah, we grab that one. We grab that one. I'm really focused on finishing this one first. And that, that may, uh, that may come back to bite me. Okay, actually, let's see here. So if I put this down here, if I put this right here, it'll match this shape. And then we'll have two shapes that match and two that don't. No, two, two shapes that match and one that don't. So then we'll just need a third shape. But then we'll have color problems. Okay, <laughs> this, this, is the, this is the kind of brain burny going on here. So if I put this here... We'll have two shapes, two shapes, one, and then we'll just need to put a, a random shape here that doesn't match anything around it, and then we'll have all the shapes. Then we'll have one color that matches. And two colors that don't, and if we put this here, we'll have three colors that don't.
We'll have three colors that don't, but if we put this here, then we'll have the third shape that doesn't match anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the right color. Okay, yeah, we'll do that. This goes here. And because we got all three colors, we got that button from this shape right here. And then we grab this. Now, now we can undo anything we want until we touch the button. So is this what we want? Because if I put this here, then we'll have one match shape, two match shape, single, single. One match color, two match color, single, single. Yeah, okay, so that's what we want. This is going here next turn. Fantastic. We got this one, we're getting the seven points from it. A lot of work to get that seven points. But, A, B, C, D, A, B, C, and D. Finished! Now we get the seven button. Yay, and it's complete. Oh, okay. All right. Wonderful. So we need to get this placed over here to get this button. We can also use one of these to get that button. Huh. So if I place this here, that'll complete the AAA. And then I need a matching set. Yeah, so let's grab that. Oh, and then if I connect all of these together with this stripe pattern, it'll complete Guinevere here. This is perfect. This is great. So that needs to go there. We get the, I'm going to call it a pomegranate. Maybe it's a blueberry. Might be a blueberry. Yeah, and that completes the A for the color. And that possibly needs to be our three shapes to put around. Yeah, so we need this shape again, but a different color. So let's grab this. Good. And then we put this here and we get a cat token. So that's an additional 11 points just from that. And then if we claim this, we can put this up here to claim that button and get tons of points. It'll be good. Yes, new turn. Okay, so we can just slap that down right there and it'll work great. If we put this here, this will match up. So we've got um, color is the A completed. This could either be the B or the C. Doesn't matter. Um, and then for shape, we've got this is the B for sure. And then we either need to be all stripes rest here. And this color would complete the B color. So yeah, we'll grab this one. Yeah. And then we just need to be careful about this last one to fill in the space. So we'll put this here to finish that. Oh yeah, now I didn't need to select. Okay, so we've got uh, for shape. For shape, we've got two that fill the B and then this one's a C. So if we have another stripe, oh wait, we've got this here. Oh, but I wanted to put this up here to finish that. Huh. Let's take this one, because I know I want to put that here so we can work on getting this button attached. Then we almost have all the buttons. We just need to get three greens together. Yeah, let's do that. And there's another... Uh, no, green. My green. Oh, don't leave the green alone, please. I want that green. All right, so then... If, if I put this here, that would make this, this shape, the A, this, the B, and this, the C. It would make this color, the A, this, the B, and the, oh, I have to put that there, crud. Yep. A, B, and the C. So we get the 11 points from that. Hmm. Not ideal. Not ideal. 
but it will work. All right, and then if I get this green, that will help get me this green here. If I can put green here and here or green here and here. Yes. Yes. And then this color here. Yeah. And then we'll take this green. Okay. Now, which green do I want? I think we want... Go on. Go on. Thank you. Um, I think we want this green here, because then we've got two greens in a row. We just need to put another green. And this matches with here. This is A for color. This is A for shape. We just need this shape again. And... Hmm. This is actually the trickiest one. Because if I put down this... Right here. Huh. Go on. Go on. Go on. Yeah, so if I put that down there, I want another green in here. But I also really don't want either of these. Huh. It's starting to come down to it, and it's getting really tricky. Um, I could take this blue and risk getting another blue. Yeah, we'll grab it. No, leave that blue, please. Oh, that's worthless. That's garbage. Ah. <sighs> So, if I place this here, it'll complete that, I'll get the button. Then we'll have two colors completed, two shapes, but then I'll have to get this in a third, this pattern in a third shape. No, I'm just gonna throw this one away. And then get this one, right? Yeah, I'm going to risk it. I'm going to grab this one to complete this green sphere and hope I get the right shapes, please. And I also need another light blue up here. Oh, I'm not getting the right shapes. Maybe we go purple. All right, so that'll complete that. So we've got the two colors right. So these two colors are right. These two shapes are right. I just need this shape again and this this pattern and this pattern in a different color. And I don't know if I'm gonna get that. I have no idea if I'm gonna get that. Uh, cause neither of those are showing up. And there's no way to like, there's no way to flush the deck. Oh yeah, and we can turn off the cats. If the cats are getting in trouble, you can just tell them to go to night night. And they'll come up here and sleep. Huh. Mm. I really wanted a pink one. Game. See, neither of these I'm really excited to use. What? Game. Unacceptable. None of that helps me. Ah, so I'm gonna, I'm not gonna get, I either don't get this somehow. Okay, I'm gonna fail at something, cause I'm, mm. okay, I'm gonna risk it. I'm gonna risk it and we're gonna go with dots here. We're certainly not getting the 11 now. I need another dot and if it would, if it's a dot pink, that would be amazing. I also need a blue. Dot pink, dot pink. Give me a dot pink. Ah. Wrong blue, game. 
Wrong blue. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna risk it. We'll put this over here. Bonk. No, you didn't complete that. No, you didn't complete that. That was a failure. And then, and then we take this garbage. This isn't gonna help me. None of this helps me. Oh, there's my pink. Good. Well, let's at least put all the stripes up here. And then we'll take this pink. We'll put this pink down here to get the last pink supply. See, I should have put this up here, but it was just so perfect to get me this here. And we put this here, we get that last three button. They take their turns, and it comes back to me. Oh, and there's the, the one I needed. Oh. <laughs> Whoa, they got all the cat tokens in the world. Uh, I got the most button tokens. And then the most design goal tokens. Yes, so I certainly won. I'm just keep going. Yes. <laughs> and so, so that is the basic game of... Quilts and Cats of Calico. And then you can you can dive in online. You can go to the Master Quilters Challenge and, and try to complete these different objectives uh, where it sets up for you what you need to gain. And there's lots of... There, more puzzly. More puzzly than uh, than the normal gameplay, which is just really good. They they really did a good job of putting this all together, giving it that board gamey kind of feel without making it feel horrible. I love it. It's great. You should totally go out and get it. And uh, this is not sponsored by the developers here. I just really enjoy a good board game. They make great games. And um, we'll be playing something else around here. So make sure you come back. Make sure you subscribe, like, comment, all those sorts of things. And we'll play with you again later here on The Backlog.